Hi and welcome back to MRTV. I'm back with a really exciting unboxing that I'm personally very much looking forward to. These are the Witcher 1 glasses and these glasses play in the same category like the X-Real Air and the Rocket Max. So these help you to get a huge virtual screen where you can watch movies and play games. Now, what sets the Witcher 1 apart is, first of all, they had a very successful Kickstarter, but what I'm really excited about is their accessories. So they came up with really cool accessories, like for example, this here, the Witcher 1 neckband. So it's a neckband that you would yeah, wear around your neck, and that allows you to stream games, to stream PlayStation, stream Xbox, and everything is already included in the box. So the software, not the Xbox and PlayStation, of course, right? So they kind of focus on this gaming aspect, which is very cool. Also, this here, the mobile dock, which allows you to easily um, play your Steam Deck and switch on a huge screen. And well, it's especially made for this. And also cool, you can watch movies and play games with two people if your significant other also has these glasses you can play together and watch movies together and i think this is especially cool and that is what really attracted me towards the virtual one so absolutely stay tuned watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up Glad that you're back on the channel. My name is Sebastian Ang. And if you're as excited as me about immersive technology like the Vitro One, then absolutely subscribe to this channel and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. Before we get into the unboxing, Vitro is launch partner of Try My Tech. So if you own these glasses or if you want to buy them, you can actually go to trymytech.com and start your own experience and earn money showcasing these glasses to others. So check it out on trymytech.com. Dot com. But now let's get into the unboxing. And I can promise you this is going to be an exciting unboxing marathon. So these are the Vitor One XR glasses and the packaging, it already looks so stylish, so cool. And well, you will see this is going through the whole unboxing experience. Very well done and everything feels so premium. Check this effect out here, very nice but it only gets better when you do this. Yes, have you seen a box unfold like this before? I haven't. And then hard case, I love hard cases. And this hard case is so stylish. The gray with that orange and it feels so high quality. Wow, well done Vitur, really, really well done. Also haptics, it feels good in your hand. We have an anti-clip hair cover here and different nose pads. So if the standard nose pad that is on doesn't fit your nose, you can exchange them with these ones here. Check this out, all the details. There's the little logo here on the zipper and let us check out the Vitur one for the very first time. And let's open it. Here it is. So nice, so well packaged and simply simply beautiful. So here we have the cable. Let's check out the cable first. So this is not a USB-C to USB-C cable. Check this out. So on the one hand, there's USB-C. This goes into the content provider. And here on the other side, this is actually a magnet. So you simply clip it on via a magnet and who doesn't like magnets? And the main event, the glasses, beautiful. So in my opinion, this is one of the most beautiful video glasses I've seen so far. This really looks like a nice um, yeah, pair of sunglasses, right? It's more of this kind of a Wayfarer, Ray-Ban style. And here, this is where the magnet goes. Let me try that out. The first time that I try this now. So let's get that cable and yes, very satisfying, super satisfying. Let's take a closer look here at the glasses. And yeah, they are super light, just like the competition, honestly speaking, just like the X-Real and the Rokit, they are all around the same. And then we have uh, a mode button here and here a brightness. And here is, well, the speakers are here on this side. On, on the other side, you'll only find speakers. Yeah, very nice design. 
Let's get to the part that I really love, and that's the diopter adjustment. So if you're short-sighted, you can simply set your diopter here from 0 to minus 5. Nice. And well, if that doesn't fit you, you could still have like magnetic lenses made for you and put onto that thing. Very cool. So how expensive is it? This is going to set you back $439. And with this base package, you get this headset and you get that magnetic cable that you saw. And with that, you can simply directly connect it with your Steam Deck. It's going to work out of the box and it's going to work with compatible Android headsets. But if you don't have a compatible Android headset, you can get this here. This is the neck band. And with that, well, you have an Android TV with all the thousands of apps. And you can stream your PlayStation and Xbox to this. Very cool. So let's check this one out. And this, together with the glasses, is the Cloud Pack, which is going to set you back $618. But you could also buy the neckband later. Then it's going to set you back $179. And check this out. This hard case has its own USB-C connector. So actually, you can charge that case, and the case is going to charge the neckband. I love that. Here, USB-C to C cable, and, well, the manual that you should read, but probably not, like me. And then you're going to ask somebody how things work. Uh, yeah, I did that. <laughs> okay, so let's open this. And here it is. This is the neckband, and it's connected to the case magnetically. Here, exactly. Yeah. And it snaps back, and it's so satisfying. This is all so well constructed. Everything feels super high quality. This could also be an Apple device. Truly, truly like that. Just like that. It's so well done. So let's check this out. Here we can see several buttons. And we have the connector for the glasses. Of course, the magnetic connector that will snap onto your glasses very satisfyingly so. And here, check out the buttons here. And that D-pad. The quality is incredible. It's just so good. I was just like stoked when I was seeing this here in this moment. Wonderful, really wonderful. And yeah, you have the home button, you have the back button, everything that you need for Android. And here there's another USB-C connector. Probably you can connect your USB-C um, controller there, right? For your gaming session. It is well thought through. The whole thing is simply well thought through. Here we have the volume button, you just saw it, and some other mode buttons. And yeah, you simply would fold it if you want to put it back into the beautiful case and charge it there again, right? So again, you can just charge the case and then you're good to go. Next in line, the mobile dog. And I truly love this accessory. Why? Because it allows you to watch movies together with your significant other because you can actually connect two headsets to this mobile dock and it's going to give you power when you connect for example your steam deck to it or your switch because it's also a mobile battery and you can connect any kind of hdmi device to it it is pretty amazing and you can get it for 129 dollars on its own or you get it together as a as a bundle with the glasses and that's going to set you back $568. And that is the package that I would really recommend to you. Well, if you want to watch with another person or if you have the, the Steam Deck and want to give it more battery power. So here, HDMI, if you want to connect any HDMI device, PlayStation 5 or whatever or anything. Here, USB-C, here's where you connect the Steam Deck or the Switch. And here, two USB-C ports for two headsets for you and your significant other. So cool, so well done, love it. And yeah, this is how it looks like. We'll give your Steam Deck six more hours of battery life. And this here, these are the mobile dock mounts for Switch and Steam Deck. <laughs> so you don't really need them, but of course it's cool to really attach that mobile dock to your Steam Deck or to your Switch. So this is this is it. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Here the the mobile dock goes here. 
and the whole thing you're going to simply clip it on your Steam Deck or your Switch, right? This is the Steam Deck version. And here you go. One nice package. So this is really well thought out because I don't want to have the mobile dock dangling somewhere else with the cables or so. I want to have it directly connected to my Steam Deck for playing. And here we go. It's, wow, it's so well thought through. The whole thing is just perfectly thought through. Wow, so I am pretty shocked, but in the best way possible. This has been one of the most beautiful unboxings that I've done on this channel for a long time. And well, the quality of this, the quality, it, it just felt like I'm unboxing some Apple product here. So yes, I know they're all going for it, right? And they're all doing a good job, like Xreal and Rokit. But wow, this has been really special. And again, I love that they're really thinking about some exciting use cases, like two people wearing the headset. Not the same, but two, obviously, right? So sitting in a plane next to my wife, I see her and me wearing this and yeah, watching a movie, playing a game. Cool, really cool. So now, as always, in these unboxings, I'm going to put this on for the very first time, just to get a feel for how it feels and also, of course, how it looks. Because so far for the unboxing, I felt that this looks so cool. You know, it really looks like this kind of, yeah, standard Wayfarer style Ray-Ban, right? So let me put this on now for the first time ever. And yeah, I see it here on the screen. It does look nice and it, it feels, it feels just as light as the competition, right? This is great. This, this kind of category of glasses, that is truly something. That is truly the first time now that consumers would wear things like this in public and don't feel bad about it. Not at all. So what do you think about this? And yeah, what I also think is really cool that you snap on that cable, right? It's not just a normal USB cable, no. You just snap it on. And that is great. Wow. Very, very impressed so far. So let's find out, yeah, how, it, how, it, how, how is the picture quality? How does it look? So that's what I'm going to check next. All right, so in the unboxing, you saw the mobile dog and the clip for the Steam Deck. <laughs> I think it's really cool that, yeah, they have everything in place. So I could just plug it on and then start to play. And yes, it is happening. Nice. Wow. Yeah, cool. So I got the floating screen in front of me. And okay, the sound also seems to be really nice. What I can tell from the first button clicks. Oh yeah. And again, the colors. It is OLED colors. You know, yeah. And um, <laughs> I'm just looking at, at what games I'm, I have here in the in the device. And let me let me start my new favorite um, 2D game, which is actually Hades. So right now here in front of me, I actually have like a huge 27 inch screen. That's what I'm, where I cut my videos and I'm, I'm sitting in front of it like, like this, like pretty close, right? That, that is probably, um, yeah, less than a meter. And that, that virtual screen, it kind of fills it out. So depending on, on where you look at, and if I look at the, at the wall in the, in the back, right, then it is, it, it is a h even bigger screen. So yeah, it is what we know from the Rogue Kid and, and from the X-Real, right? So, so that is great to see that it can absolutely, absolutely match this. And that is great. So I, I just found something, I, I should read it. I, I should absolutely read the manual because I was just clicking the button and then actually the surrounding got darkened down. So this glasses, they can darken down your surroundings if you want. Wow, this is wild. Yeah, and in terms of volume, this is, this is a good volume. Impressive, absolutely impressive. So let me play a game. Yeah, absolutely 
so much better than playing this on the screen. The colors are beautiful OLED colors. It is a nice big screen. I can see absolutely clear from edge to edge. No problems whatsoever. Wow. This is an amazing gadget. So I'm totally in love with this product category. This really works and this is really a nice add-on for you when you, yeah, if you want to play this on a huge virtual screen and you, your main TV is kind of used, or even even if you would normally play like this, this is this is bigger and better. But but wow, this this one button where you kind of make your uh, the light from outside like like less. This is this is incredible. Click it again and then now it's again bright outside because of my light here. Click it again, and it would kind of darken the room. Wow. So in terms of size, is it different than uh, Rokit or Xreal? Actually, honestly speaking, they are all around the same size now. I couldn't uh, tell that, okay, one is like much better than the other. They are all around the same. And also for the colors, they all seem to use probably even the, the, the same screen, honestly speaking. They all have these amazing colors. So yeah, what it comes down to is basically um, what kind of features do you need? Right? Do you need this diopter adjustment? Um, how about the the design of this and the accessories? Right. So, so yeah. So Witcher is really putting in an amazing device with really cool gadgets here with cool accessories. Absolutely loving what I see here. Okay. So Steam Deck was amazing. Now let's check out this neck band. I have no idea what awaits me here. And uh, okay, interesting. I don't. I don't need. I don't need this cable anymore, right? Because this already comes with a cable. Here it is. So I, I don't know if this is already charged and, and what awaits me here. So let's just do it obviously again without reading any kind of uh, <laughs> manual. Yeah, this is already great, right? So probably I should first put the whole thing on and then do it. Okay, so yeah, I can use the device with with uh, the directional buttons here and let me let me um, first set this up and also there's the Google Play Store I see YouTube I see apps I see settings I, I see the screencast 3d player and that is cool you know what is pre-installed here PS play and Xbox play so I don't even have to buy it and there's Netflix as well pre-installed Okay, well done. And YouTube and Prime Video. Well done, Vitur. So this is so cool and so loud. Let me turn down the volume here so I can uh, concentrate on letting you know what I'm seeing here. Okay, so it's loud and they have different kind of um, ways to um, to control everything. So I can use here that the D-pad, but I can also choose stuff with that gaze method where there's a a little um, yeah, mouse, I would even call it, on the screen or a little cursor. But I can also turn this off again by triple clicking the home button, double clicking the home button. So I'm now I'm back in the menu now. And what I also found out, so here is uh, the mode, the mode selector. And if I triple click it, then the screen is pinned and stays there. And I can look around and the thing is pinned here in the middle. So for people who don't like that the screen is moving with them like this, you can actually look, you can move your head to the bottom left and then you see what you see on the bottom left. So it's not any more pinned, but it stays there and you can do this. Wow, very innovative. Really, really very nice innovation. I'm pretty excited, I must tell you about what I'm, what I'm seeing here. Okay. This has been so good. So now let me also try to play PlayStation 5 using the PS Play that is built in here. All right, so I just connected PS Play to my PlayStation 5, which is in the next room. And now I'm seeing the PlayStation 5 home screen. Can simply use my controller to start anything that I wanted to start. And you know what? Let me start a game here. Let's see what I have here. Games. 
So, okay, everything is VR. Haha. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now we have one game here, which is The Last of Us. <laughs> the Last of Us Remastered in beautiful OLED black. Nice. So I see the window in the be at the beginning of the game, the destroyed window, and it looks it looks perfect. So finally, well, your wife is watching TV on the big screen. You sit like this next to her, and you can simply play your game. Every everybody's happy. Nice. And check out the volume. Can you hear that? Probably not, but it's it's pretty. It's it's loud. It's it's loud enough so. You will be able to enjoy your game here. It is absolutely fantastic. I don't see any kind of like uh, artifacting. It is smooth. It's a big screen. It's a big bright OLED screen that I can play perfectly PlayStation 5 on right now. Wow. And I love it that they've already put this PlayStation Play um, app there without you having to pay it because normally it's a, it's a paid app. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. All right, so let's come to the conclusion of my first impressions of this here, the Vitro One. And as you could tell already dur during this video, I'm simply impressed by this. Wonderful quality of the hardware, unboxing incredible. And yeah, the obviously the most important, the visuals, they absolutely are as amazing as you would hope for. So compared to, um, to Rokid and to Xreal, it is honestly, it's the same. They're all the same. So what sets this apart, in my opinion, is the design. It looks really cool. And just how much thought they have put into all the accessories. First of all, I love it that the cable would just magnetically clip on, right? So you don't even have to look at it. It will just work like this and it's super stable. This is cool. Then, um, yeah, that I can uh, change my di diopter here is great for those who are just so short-sighted. But for those people who actually um, need another prescription, astigmatism and stuff, you can still order some magnetic add-ons here. So you're also taken care of. And I love this idea. Like my wife, for example, she's farsighted. So this won't work for her. I believe she's farsighted. <laughs> yeah. I will find out exactly what's the matter with, with her eyes. But um, yeah, we will need that for her, it seems. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is cool. And the accessories, they just work. I love to play on my Steam Deck with a mobile dog. And what is so cool that once my wife also has these glasses, we'll be able to play together and we'll be able to watch a movie together. So this is really what this brings onto the table as compared to the competition. There's cool accessories. I, I'm going to really enjoy watching a movie together with my wife when she also wears it in the plane or what in, in bed or whatever. So yeah, so really cool. Very impressed by the whole thing. Honestly, by the whole thing. I didn't find any drawbacks so far. Let me think. Yeah, the only thing that I could think of is that the head that this neckband, which also is really cool, that the fan was kind of loud in the beginning, right? So I turned it on and it was kind of loud. But then in the in the settings, there's a quiet fan mode where you can turn down the volume or, or the intensity of the fan and then everything is fine. So yeah, just turn this on. And this is also really well thought through, right? Instead of like having to hold some device, you simply put it on like this. You wear it and then you're good to go. Wow, I am absolutely impressed by this, by this whole thing. <laughs> yeah, look at this. You just pop it on like this. It's it's so well thought through. Really enjoying it. So super, super positive first impressions. PlayStation playing, streaming, no problem with this. Everything just worked out of the box. So really, this is like a big, big thumbs up. And if you're wondering, should you buy this? If you are, yeah, on 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 the on the edge of, of buying it, just go for it. It absolutely got the MRTV thumbs up, and um, yeah, 
I'm I'm happy that I have them now. As always, if the MRT videos help you to make any purchasing decision for this or for the road kit or for the Xreal, I'll be very happy if you go through the MRTV affiliate links because then you support this channel and it doesn't cost you any cent on top and you will keep getting this kind of videos. Super, super nice. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And again, if you own the Viture or if you will own the Viture one, then absolutely you can start your own Try My Tech experience if you're in the US, the UK or in Germany. So go to trymytech.com, sign up and show others these glasses and earn some money doing so. That would be absolutely fantastic. All right, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV, then do that now and click on the bell button so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And if you want to chat with me or the community, go to the MRTV Discord server, also linked down in the description of this video. Yes, that's everything. Now go crazy in the comments. What do you think about the virtual one? Comment on it, help the algorithm, and I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.